morning, Got guys. We are on a brand new permission today. James scored again. He's now 4-0 with the door knocking. That's pretty awesome. We got a, a very, very old barn. We got tons and tons of acreage here. Look at these rolling fields. Finally got this guy along. We got this guy and this guy. And then we got this big, beautiful house here with the dual chimneys, the field stone foundation. It's gonna be a good day. We can't strike out three times, so we'll be back on the first hole. All right, here's my first good find. It is a little buckle. More than likely horse tack. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty good day. So uh, put your seat belts on, cause it's gonna be a good one. Second hole, musker busker. Yeah, we're gonna have a good day. Tons of acreage here, man. It's gotta be plenty. Look at it, just look at it. I think I got a little button here. I think it's a one piece. Yeah, it might be a coin, I don't know. No, it's a button, I just think it's fancy. Uh, I believe that's uh, possibly Civil War. I think there's an eagle on there. It's neither an eagle or a flower. Let me uh, brush it up, I'll be right back. Well, it seems I forgot my brush and my finds box and everything today, so that's because it's gonna get to the wrap up, I guess. But, uh, yep, we'll be back, I'm sure. Not quite, sh not quite sure what this is, I think it's a token. Oh yeah, it's one of those uh, antique car tokens, 1911. Merc Mercer Race Boy, Sunoco. Sunoco token. Got a beautiful little buckle here. I've found a few of these types before, but I've never had the uh, tooth still on it. It's solid brass, all of it. I don't think it's super old, but it's definitely older. Do you see it? Do ya? Nice piece of silver. I believe it's a Merc. Yep. Nineteen forty. See if it has a mint. I don't see one. Cool, got silver for the day. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, every time I've went out to hunt this week, I've got a curdle bell. This is a big boy. Oh, it's cracked. Darn it, it's still whole, but I hope I didn't hit it. Oh, it's a big old one too. I think it's a number four, number five. Nice. Where'd that hit at, bud? It was jumpy. It was deep and jumpy. Can I pick it up? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna catch up with Dustin, see what all he's got so far. I got this old lady's watch. watch and I'm pretty sure that's gold gold yeah cool what's the button the button I've never seen a button like that that's neat never in my life have you ever seen that's one like turn painted? of the century yeah, yeah. that would have been on a little schoolboy's uniform probably and then a couple weedies but the one's really old the one I took time to clean is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. And I got two other old ones, but I don't know the dates. Nice. And then, 
And then, and then, and then, and then. An old uh, stirrup, right? Uh, Where you put your foot into for the horse? Small for a stirrup. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, other than that, look how heavy it is. I mean, yeah. maybe it could be a brooch, but that would be one heavy ass brooch. Yeah, I don't know. Spoon bowl could, could be silver. Could be silver plated, probably. Some sort of buckle or brooch. Yeah. Yeah, I've been finding a bunch of stuff like that, all round crap. Yeah. And then some modern stuff and a a moose ball. Nice. James yeah. getting anything? Not yet, but um, I'm going to kind of stick around and see if I can steer him. Help him? Yeah. Because I, I think he is on a good spot. He's going real quick, though. But I don't know that machine, how that works. Right. But he's going real, real quick. Yeah, I, I keep telling him to slow down. I'll tell you, since you're going to be going that way, behind the house where I was, uh -huh. every hole had something in it. Really? Everything. I, st I was only, you know me, I only did the high signals and I was right. there forever. So. All right, guys, we'll get back to you. Well, that's kind of an odd hole. I popped three little bracelets out of the same hole. Huh, four of them. They all look costumish. Isn't that neat? And then this piece, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a piece to a old gun or something. I don't know. But yeah, four bracelets and one hole. That's kind of crazy. We'll be back. Finally, I think I have a large set. <laughs> it's been a couple hours, but uh, I think I got it done. We're gonna pop it together here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have no, no toothpicks, no brush, no nothing with me today. I'll get, I'll try to clean it up and get back to you. Well, unfortunately it's toasted. I don't see nothing on it. Maybe we'll get something after it dries, who knows. I'm gonna try to get a couple more. All right, man, we're gonna have a little wrap up here and uh, I'm not gonna do another one after I clean up, after I get home. I'm just gonna clean up and put pictures at the end so we don't have to do this twice. But uh, yeah, we're done for the day. It's been a long day. So let me turn you around here and I'll show you what we got. That's our take for the day. Start over here with Dustin's stuff. Got a mason jar lid. We got some clad. A spoon bowl. You know, every time we say clad now, I think of Bill Clad. <laughs> <laughs> I, he doesn't deserve that much thought. <laughs> got an old uh, Timex watch here. Some, uh, he got a gold pendant, it has an S on it. This is a neat find, it's a button. Still has all the paint. That's probably, it. I'd say, late 1800s. He got some Wheaties. 1918 and 1918. 54 Jeff. A toasty coin, we don't know what it is. I'm gonna take it home and hit it with the pencils. Musket ball. Uh, brooch. I'm not sure what that thing is. If anybody knows, let us know. Yeah. Uh, probably a sash buckle piece. Then come over here. We got a car. This piece of copper here is all rolled up. It looks like it has a balloon or something on it, a hot air balloon. You got a Model T valve stems. I think I have like eight of them now. Mm -hmm. Got a few buckles. Oh yeah, these are the Model Ts, right? The Model As are the ones just uh, one. Yep. Have that. Okay. Yep. 
bunch of musket balls and turn of the century bullets. Little lipstick tube thingy. You got a parasol slide. Some other copper crap. I don't know what that stuff is. Little buckle, bail seal. We got this, uh, well, there's an awesome cigarette butt. <laughs> a bunch of clad. And, uh, old, old pewter spoon bowl. This thing's really heavy. Has some detail on there. I did get another cradle bell, which you've seen. It's a little smashed up, but it's all there. Then, I'll start with my coins. I got a 1916 and a 1946, I believe. Yeah. And 1940 Merc. Sunoco token. It has a Mercer race car. Race piece something. I don't know. And then a toasted copper. I'm not quite sure what it is. I believe it's a Hibernia. I can see kind of a crown. Let's see if I can find it here. I'm not sure exactly where it's at. but Man, that thing's rough. There, I think I see part of the crown up there. I don't know. I'm going to hit it with some pencils see what happens. And then we got this awesome little button. A little flower button. It's gonna have a lot of guilty goldy stuff on it when I dip it in. Oh, it does have the shag, it's just smashed in. I dip it in lemon juice. So, uh, yep, that's our stuff. And next thing you'll be seeing some pictures. So, take care, have a good day, and happy hunting. <laughs>